Hi, Amy. I really liked your presentation, especially that you are engaged in advocating for Medicare reimbursement of counseling service billings based on your clinical experiences in hospital. My own experience as a chaplain in a, hus in a hospital is also frustrating because of the minimal value Medicare and insurance companies attribute to counseling while the patients and staff we serve rank counseling very high in their satisfaction ratings. Your quote of Dr. Sidney Shaw about counselor's self-assessment in his podcast that I could uh, the best mirror is in the eyes of a friend, uh, and of quote, reminded me of another one by Anonymous. Uh, that goes out like this. I did not know my name until I saw it written in, on, on my neighbor's face. This is just to say that a friend, client, or supervisor is the best assessor of a counselor's competencies about cultural humility. John Chol, uh, uh, John Chol, a customer service strategist, said, uh, I quote, if you walk in your customer's shoes, you will get the information you need to ensure they have a comfortable walk through your doors, either physical or, or virtual, end of quote. He used the Reverend Dr. Uh, Judith A. B. Lee's concept of uh, walk a mile in my shoes. Uh, Judith A. B. Lee, a Christian priest, social worker, and University of Connecticut professor, initiated an advanced empathy-based technique which foster parents and uh, uh, case workers uh, uh, can use to better care for children by getting into the shoes of, uh, of birth parents by adopting the latter's feelings, behaviors, and thoughts. Counselors also must walk a mile in clients' shoes and worlds, not ahead or behind to pull or push them where they want, but side by side, sharing their stories, experiences, feelings, and thoughts. This way, the counselor is more of a listener, a learner of the clients will views, experiences, values, cultures, and beliefs. Such a counselor is culturally humble, encouraging clients instead of imposing their personal values and experience upon them, and thus maintaining a good th therapeutic alliance. Scripture says, I quote, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear slow to speak, slow to wrath. And of course, I quote James 1 verse 19, the King James uh, uh, version. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, all of you fellow CITs.